Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Director Reviews and welcome back to another video. So finally, I jumped on the bandwagon and actually got my iPhone 14 Pro Max. However, I did not get it in the signature colors like the space black and the purplish color, whatever that is called. But I got it in the regular gold version. Why gold, you might be asking, is because I believe that gold is one of the most durable colors that Apple has. And trust me, I've actually used my iPhone 12 Pro without a case uh, to the extent because I'm pretty OCD and I always use cases. So I believe that the black as well as the gold ones uh, do hold up better in terms of uh, wear and tear. It is more scratch resistant. Uh, even though the gold one, yes, it's because it's a light color, it's still more prone to fingerprinting. But oh well, you got to sacrifice for a nice and bright color so that's the reason why i got the gold version right here as you can see so of course tons of unboxings already but anyway this is my take on the unboxing nothing special being apple is very very simple presentation so of course finally getting a taste of the dynamic island i believe still it's it's still a gimmick but since i'm like wanting to try it out and uh, see those apps and pretty cute stuff you can do with uh, the dynamic island i do want to try it out and probably do some videos about that on the channel anyways here is the 40 pro max of so course as you can see this is the 256 gigs go version of course currently i'm actually recording on iphone 13 pro max in one terabyte so yeah 256 gb is definitely not going to make the cut in terms of storage because i do content creation on my devices currently of course alongside other cameras but yeah mainly my device because tiktok instagram reels stuff like that uh, definitely using your phone is a much easier task okay so let's remove the lid as usual very nice presentation you can see protecting the camera module attention to detail so no peeling of the seal because i actually did have to unbox it at the store because they wanted to check whether there are any defects it's like a protocol or something like that anyways it is what it is no peeling this year so got this in a very nice gold finish I do like this of course some people prefer the darker colors or the purple color in fact but for me i do like the 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 way the gold shines and the way the color shifts yeah it's just my thing so apple logo the very huge camera module i will do a comparison of the iphone 14 pro max against the iphone 13 pro max and show you guys differences in terms of the size of camera module and probably uh camera test if you guys want so if you do want that do hit that like button and also in the comments hit me up and tell me whether you want some camera comparisons i'll try to make that happen but i'll be focusing more on the cases in the upcoming videos and yeah the usual stuff which i normally do with a new iphone so of course the biggest upgrade this year is the 48 megapixel camera which is pixel bin down 4 to 1 pixels to 12 megapixel which means that you get better image processing better dynamic range and especially if you shoot raw you're going to definitely benefit from the 48 megapixels compared to the 12 megapixels of the previous iPhones. So yeah, a very big sensor jump, a very big jump in terms of camera performance, uh, at least uh, from Apple. Of course, you, we already have like a few hundred megapixels for Android devices, but Apple is slowly catching on to the wave as usual. They do that with all their devices. Okay, so yeah, on the side, the usual stuff. Our local version does have the SIM slot as compared with the US version which does not have a SIM card tray. So we do have the volume rockers as well as the mute and ring toggle as usual with all iPhones. On the right side, the same affair, the power button, CV button, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and on the bottom, yeah, the speaker and microphone as well as the lightning port. So no USB-C this time around. And of course, the screen itself. Let me give you guys a look. So I've been going to be putting on a screen protector so i do not want to get like fingerprints on the screen okay let's take out and see what is this so the usual stuff usb-c to lightning i have tons of that already that's the number of phones which i have purchased and here we have the sim card ejector tool we have the apple sticker one sticker a quick start guide uh, and stuff like that so basically that's it for the unboxing of course i I'm interested to try out the camera because for many videos which I've seen uh, the camera on this phone especially if you shoot the pixel bin 12 megapixel photos you're not going to be seeing a big difference however on the front facing camera there's a different story because they have upgraded it with autofocus so 
content creators like me, we need the autofocus. We do like the depth of view, of course. But of course, the front sensor is going to be small, still small, you know, because it's front facing camera, you know. So, yeah, you're not going to be getting the best quality, especially in low light. You're going to be getting the best quality from the main camera only on the iPhone and basically for most of the devices. So, nothing new here, nothing out of the ordinary. So, the biggest upgrade for me is the 48 megapixel camera. In terms of processing wise, uh, I think Apple is really at the top of the game. Uh, even with the 13 Pro Max, I edit lots of videos on my iPhone. I shoot lots of videos on my iPhone and it's never slowed down a bit and I play games as well. Uh, but however, I'm hoping to be seeing a increase in battery performance on the 14 Pro Max so compared with 13 Pro Max because of the more efficient chipset in the 14 Pro Max. So as compared with the 14 and the 14 Plus, yeah, you're going to be using last year's chipset, but if you're going for the Pro, you're going to be getting the updated chipset. This has been a really quick unboxing and my take on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Of course, I will be having lots of content on the iPhone 14 Pro Max as you would expect in the videos to come. So I do have content on the Insta360 I just got last week. So it'll be mixed content in the upcoming weeks. So do stay tuned and do hit the subscribe button and also give this video a like if you did like so it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.